back to Apple. In this particular video, I will be explaining a new efficient approach, basically a more efficient approach to solve the particular problem, wherein we had to swap the elements of the linked list, the nodes of the linked list, pairwise, right? So if you just focus on the uh, problem statement, the problem statement said that if we have a linked list one followed by two, followed by three, followed by four, followed by null, and if we have a reference to the head pointer, then what we have to do basically is that uh, you know we just have to swap them pairwise. Pairwise in the sense this output should be two followed by one, right? And this will be swapped as four followed by three, and this and this will be connected, and this will be null, right? So this is the output that is expected from us. We have already come up with a recursive uh, approach to solve this particular problem, but here in this video we will be discussing the more efficient approach, right? Without recursion, how can we solve this particular problem? So uh, what basically we need to do is simply we need to take the help of two pointers. So I have already written the code to it for uh, to save time, right? I, but I will be explaining how, wh why, and what, why I have used this code. So basically, what we'll be doing is basically we'll be using two pointers, t1 and t2, right? Temp1 and temp2. How will they function? Now, initially, my head is pointing to this. I will take the help of another pointer h, and it will initialize head to h. Means basically, we have a pointer h pointing to this head node. Now, what will I do is, if basically head is not equal to null, and head next is not equal to null, means if both the nodes to which head is pointing and the node next to it are not null, not null, not null. So basically, t1 will then point to h this statement head will move forward as per this statement and t2 will be pointing to h next so as per this statement why am i using t2 i have already discussed in one of my previous videos that we whenever we want to uh, reverse the direction of the linked list right in that particular problem we discussed that since i am going to uh, move this next of two to one so if i just move this two next to one without keeping track of this particular node what will happen i will lose the connection to the entire linked list so for that i have to first of all secure the position of the linked list 3, 4 and continue and so on. So that is why I am just using another pointer T2 which will point to head next as per this statement. Now it's time to change the direction of the linked list. So basically what happens is we will be having 2 followed by 1. How? As per this statement. H next is equal to temp1. H now is pointing to 2. H next is equal to temp1 which means 2 will point to 1. one. Now where will 1 point to? This is the question. So for that we are using basically some condition. For the time being, just ignore this particular statement. I'll explain you at the end why am I using this flag. So now H will point to temp2. So basically H is now at 2, H will point to temp2 at this particular point. Now what happens? Basically, it's time to decide which node will follow node 1. Right? It is time it is the time to decide which node will follow node 1. Now see there are basically three possible cases. What are the possible cases? Suppose if the link list was 1 followed by 2 followed by null. In this particular case, what happens? Basically, initially this was H, then this will become T1, this will become H, this will become T2. The moment I say H equal to T2, H will come here, right? And now if I want to, now what will happen in this particular situation? 2 will point to 1, right? Now I have to decide what will 1 point to. So for deciding this, you first of all check what is the value of H, right? So if the H is now pointing to null, right, means what did I do? First of all, I consider H here, then T1 initialized to H. H moved forward and T2 in place to H next. These things. Right? And then finally at this particular point you see I am doing H equal to temp2. Which means I am updating the position of H. So if the updated position of H is pointing to null, then simply it indicates that I have already traversed all the elements of the linked list. So basically what we will do, T1, because T1 is pointing to 1, T1's next will be equal to null. Making the point? That is what I have done here. If you can see it properly. The next condition that I can encounter is suppose I have elements 1 2 3 followed by null initially head is pointing here then what did I do t1 here head here t2 here right now this particular configuration will help me to get the configuration 2 followed by 1 now the question is 1 will follow what so for that what will I do first of all h is updated to h, is, h position is updated so h is right now at 2 next time h will point to t2 because of this line h is equal to temp2 so h points here now, if h is equal to null, we return as null, right? But what if h next is equal to null? That is also a problem because if h is next is equal to null, it simply indicates that the node where h is pointing is the last node of this particular linked list, right? So basically, if h is equal to null, we directly return null. But if h next is equal to null, it indicates that the node to which currently h is pointing is the last element of the linked list. So better make T1's next means this next is equal to the last element of this particular linked list to which H is pointing is equal to H. 
getting the point that is why i wrote this condition what is the third condition that is normal condition the normally what hap- what would happen normally we may come across a case where we have 1 2 3 followed by 4 suppose and followed by null in this case you see h will be here first then t1 comes here h is updated and t2 comes to h next because of this configuration we will get what 2 followed by 1 now it's time to decide what will follow 1 so for that what we do first of all h moves to t2 h comes here you see because of this line and then i will check whether h is equal to null or not so if h is equal to null return null if h is next is equal to null return null but here you can see h is next is not null because h is next is 4 in that particular case we say temp1 next is equal to h next so basically once next will be equal to what h next and h is right now pointing to 3 3 is next is 4 so this will point to 4 now after this what happens basically this is h so now what happens t1 comes here h comes here t2 comes here right so what will happen again because of this configuration what will happen 4 will point to 3 i'll get this right and again i'll update h to t2 now you see if h is equal to equal to null because h is now pointing to null so we have the condition break by making temp next equal to null so basically this become null and we will break it so finally you see we have received a linked list which is pairwise swapped so i explained you the three uh, possible uh, cases right when head will be null when head next will be null or normal condition where temp next is equal to head next right where you have some elements in the head next position also right so this is how we can solve this particular problem using an efficient approach by just traversing the linked list from left to right now comes coming uh, now coming to the condition why am i using flag equal to equal to zero now please note that initially i had my head pointer pointing to this node right and now i have copied the pointer address of head to h and i was just changing h you see i was just changing h right in every position so head remains at point 1 only but when i will return the output in the output this head which is pointing to node 1 is not my head node right because this will not lead me to tra- uh, traverse the complete linked list because i will miss the element which is before it getting the point because now this has been updated isn't it my head is still at uh, uh, pointing to this particular node but i have another node before it in the output case this is my output linked list so basically it should point to 2 so for that what am i doing is i am using a uh, variable flag equal to 0 initially for the very first time for the very first time when flag is equal to 0 I will make head is equal to h, which means head equal to h, right? Which means that what happens is, you see, uh, basically, just consider this particular line here. All right. So just consider this particular line here. For the very first time, what is happening? Let me just erase this. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Let me just erase this. You see, for the very first time, when I will enter the loop, my head is uh, h is pointing here, right? So what did what did I do? I made it t1. I made head to point to t2, and t2 will point to head next. So when I get this configuration at this particular time for the first iteration, the point where h will node, h will point, the point where uh, h pointer will point will be basically my starting of the output linked list, right? That is why I am doing if flag equal to zero means for the first time head is equal to h, right? Means this the point where h is pointing to. After doing these operations, will be my new head node. So now head will point to this particular node, and then just make just make flag equal to one, which means now you have secured the starting position of the linked list, and now you don't have to execute this again and again because now flag will become one, right? And finally, we will return the head node, and head will now point to the starting of the linked list. And see, this was the starting of the linked list, right? So if you talk about the time complexity of this particular code, it is order of n. Why order of n? Because it is linear. You can see, right? We are just traversing the entire linked list. Right? We are not using any recursion or any extra space. Uh, this is the time complexity. Considering the space complexity, obviously a constant space is required. See, we didn't take any extra space, so this was more space efficient, right? Memory efficient because we didn't use any extra space like in the case of recursion, right? So yeah, that's all from this particular video. I hope this video was uh, helpful. In case of any doubt, please feel free. Uh, please feel uh, free to put your doubts in the comment section and just like, share, and subscribe.